Hey guys, Rod here at A Better Way to Farm. Happy New Year. It is the 30th of December and we're getting close to next year. Wanted to share some thoughts on nitrogen. This was triggered, um, I've been doing some reading on AgWeb and looking at some of the stuff that's been being put up there by Ken Ferry and Missy Bauer and some of the others that, that write for them. And uh, one article that really caught my eye started out like this. This is Ken Ferry's words. Expect a rocky start in 2022 if fall applied anhydrous is your only source. Guys, when we've got major magazines starting to come out and talk about this, when they've been the ones who've pushed these kinds of things for so long, it's a wake up call. And the fact is this, if the only time, only nitrogen we put on was fall applied gas, there's a lot of things that can be rocky. Number one, you've got the, the problem of it just getting away from you. So much of it is lost. Number two, uh, Ken Ferry says that by using anhydrous, it is not very good at paying the carbon penalty. So let's touch base for a minute. What is the carbon penalty? Because I had two or three guys ask me this in the last seven days. Guys, here's the deal. When that residue is decomposing, the residue of corn stalks is about 60 parts per million, excuse me, about 60 parts carbon for every single part of nitrogen. And guys, in nature, there's always going to be, for every one part of N, there's going to be 10 parts of carbon. The actual ratio is 100 carbon to 10 nitrogen to 1 sulfur. And if we don't get those three numbers in the right ratio, the soil locks it up and won't let go of it. So when we have residue out there and we've got 60 parts of carbon for every one part of nitrogen, we're in trouble because it's gonna sequester that nitrogen in the process of decomposing. And so we're gonna pay that penalty. That's why some nitrogen applied right at planting or just before planting is a great idea, if for no other reason than to pay that penalty. The second thing that Ken Ferry said was that NH3 tends to really kick in and become available around V6 or V8. So what does that mean? He's saying we're gonna be a, a deficient here up to at least V6. And what does that mean? That means that those G type hybrids are the ones that have the ability to flex down. You wanna avoid those flex ears at all cost if the only nitrogen you apply is fault applied in. And so what we wanna think of it here is, all right, how are we gonna do the best job? Well, even if we put on fall applied nitrogen a little bit coming back with a little bit maybe 10 gallon before we plant you know 10 gallon with our pre-emerge chemicals is probably something that's going to make you a great deal of money and I would highly recommend that you consider that Ken Ferry went on to say that you know the lion's share of your nitrogen is needed like 60 percent of your nitrogen is needed between v6 and vt and so when we get into that reproductive stage, that's when it's really screaming and taking for it. Now granted, if you've used full anhydrous, it's gonna become available there at the V6 and that's great. The question is how much of it is still left and do you have enough to take you all the way through the end of the, the fill, the grain fill? We wanna make sure that we have that. And guys, whether it be in 2022 or 2023 or 2037, it doesn't matter. Here's the thing about nitrogen loss. I heard it best explained this way in a different article by another author. But he talked about the fact that nitrogen loss is just like having a hole in the fence. And every day your cows get out through that hole in the fence and you got a choice. You can either fix the hole or you're gonna chase cows every day. Doesn't matter which one you wanna do. You can, you can say, well, I, you know, the hole doesn't exist. You can deny it. You can say it's not a problem but your cows are gonna get out every day. It's no different. So what does that mean? That means nitrogen loss is gonna happen every year and we're going to address it. We're gonna to have to look at some kind of a stabilizer. We're gonna to have to look at putting on in a different form. We're gonna to have to look at putting on in a different time. We may have to look at putting it on in a different position. I just got off the phone with a guy named Caleb who I enjoy talking to very much. And he talked about how much his yields improved when he stopped broadcasting and stopped applying stuff in the middle of the row and started putting everything he puts on. It's either in the trench or within four inches of the row. 
and it's made over 30 bushel difference in his farming operation. And I think that's pretty cool, and that was not solicited. That's just a fact from another grower who's out doing the work and studying. And guys, that's what I want to encourage you to do. Do the work, study, take a look at what can we do better in 2022 and 2023. So there's just some interesting things here that we thought about. You know, I, we got to decide, do we want to keep chasing the cows? We're going to fix the fence. Let's fix the fence. Then we can take that time and do something else. Are we going to address this problem with nitrogen loss? Or are we just going to continue to, to fight it and chase it? Let's fix it. Let's make sure we're doing it right. And guys, your tip for 22 is let's make sure that we take care of enough nitrogen out there in order to beat that carbon penalty so that we're not getting hurt in the early stages of that plant and those flex ears are not flexing back. We wanna make sure that they're giving us the maximum amount of flex in the upward position that we can get and that's what we're gonna look at. If you'd like to talk about this further, feel free to hit us up, 641-919-1206. We'd have to lo love to talk to you on a call or have a text from you. Get us a Facebook message right here on the Facebook page. And guys, as always, we invite you to swing on by at betterwaytofarm.com and take a look at the profit calculator. And maybe you can grab some ideas there. Take the five question quiz. Also want to tell you that if you'll go to um, a betterwaytofarm.com forward slash win, we're going to have an opportunity for you to win some pretty cool uh, contests. You might want to check that out. Guys, I hope this really does find you having a better day.